Good morning, Mark Hutchinson, the Ask Mark Realtor. Anything home tips and hints. This is Mark D'Andrea, the doctor of real estate, anything home. Um, we really appreciate you guys watching these videos. They're taking off on the internet. Smash that like button, share them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, any place else that you're on social media. We, we can't tell you how much we appreciate how much folks are watching these and sharing these. Mark Hutchinson, how are you today and what's going on in your world? Hey, you know, this is, a, this is a good week. My wife's on vacation with our daughter and granddaughter and a couple of friends on the Gulf Coast. So I'm a bachelor this week. So I have my own vacation, but you had a special week. Not only have, do you feed your horses every day, but you had a, you had a special visitor for a while. Uh, we did. We did. We had our grandkids over again uh, because Arden and Cody are uh, uh, on a third or fourth honeymoon, whatever you would call it. So we had them for the first part and uh, the Albrights, Vicki and Jim, are taking them for the second part. And Mary was very helpful this morning. She helped me to uh, hay the horses and grain the horses and move them over to their other pasture. She's a great little cowgirl. That's great. It's always great to have family come back and visit, and then it's great when they leave. So yeah. you got <laughs> hey, that right. Yeah, yep. that's for sure. Hey, Mark, we were talking earlier about the part of the year that we're entering into as relates to real estate, and you had mentioned before we started recording that you wanted to chat to folks about you know school year starting up again. There's going to be buses out and about with kids. What are your thoughts for our viewers on that? And we'll tie that into real estate. Sure. Thanks, Mark. Uh, you know, school buses, they have the, uh, the, the red stop sign that comes out, the flashing lights. Kids get off. They get off the bus. They go in front of the bus across the street. They go on the right side of the bus to the sidewalk. And we have vehicles that, because maybe they haven't seen a school bus for a while, they forget that they're supposed to stop. Anytime you see flashing lights, you need to stop. School buses, those kids are not paying attention. They get off the bus. They think they have the right of way, which they do. They're not paying attention to cars coming. And a few times there's, there's an accident. So kids, morning, at lunchtime, in the mid-afternoon, there's school buses out there. There's kids getting on and off the bus, not paying attention. And the walkers... Yes, they have, you know, don't walk, walk, flashing lights, uh, school guard people, but we're the drivers, we're the adults, we need to be watching. Anytime we're in a school zone, it says 20 miles an hour, we need to go down to 20 miles an hour. And we just need to be careful of those kids. They're not replaceable. They're young, innocent. Let's give them a break. They, they need a break every day because they're they're doing what we did a long time ago. Well, I so. cannot agree with you more, Mark. I remember being at Crossing Guard. I know that makes me sound like a, a geek, but that's okay. I'll, I'll proudly <laughs> take that title. Uh, and I remember our sixth grade teacher at North Linden Elementary, his name was Mr. Bussey, was in charge of all the Crossing Guards. And Mr. Bussey would... Um, have one of the other teachers drive him around and he would be hunched down in the car so that you couldn't see him because he wanted to catch us not at our posts at attention and he'd pop up when he drove by and he'd point at you if you weren't at attention paying attention and i'll never forget that uh it was a great time and of course that was a long time ago because i'm old but you're absolutely right um we, we just need to give the bus drivers a break, give the kids a break. They've got the right of way. Uh, we don't need to be in that much of a hurry. And I understand everybody has their life and they've got to get somewhere. But look, just hang loose. It's not going to take long. Um, give the kids a break. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, it's just so easy to not pay attention as a driver. You know, we have the radio, we're drinking coffee, we're talking with someone, God forbid we're on a cell phone. So yeah, we just, when it comes to kids, school buses and school zones, just shut everything down and just watch what's going on around you. Pay attention. 
Yes. Uh, great subject. I really appreciate you bringing this up earlier. And we were kind of talking about how that dovetails into real estate. You know, there's an old adage out there that spring is the best time to buy or sell a home. And I don't necessarily disagree that a lot of folks buy and sell their homes in the spring, but there are always factors that are involved in real estate, folks. And uh, two of the factors coming up uh, that are um, making Mark's real estate business very busy right now, mine and other agents' uh, business pick up. This time of year, folks are looking to move their kids into the school system so they can get them registered. So it's very busy. Folks are buying and selling right now a lot. And right on the heels of that, folks would love to be in their new home before the holidays. So as soon as the school year starts, the holidays start pushing folks for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. They want to be in their new home and have folks over and gather for that. So it's a busy time of year in general. It's a busy time of year for our, our school age kids. Mark, I really appreciate you having me on the call and discussing this. It's very important. Guys, if you like these videos, and it's obvious to us that you do because they're being shared all over the internet, smash that like button, share them on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or wherever else you're at. And uh, we'd love to keep doing them for you. And we're going to. So we, we love visiting with you every uh, week here once a week. Mark, thanks for having me on the call. That's the Ask Mark Realtor, Mark Hutchinson. Home tips and hints. I'm Mark Dandre, the doctor of real estate, anything home. Mark, you have a great day and thanks for having me on the call. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mark. Enjoy.